Welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create these 3D shadows. It's pretty simple. You just need to follow what I'm doing. So let's start. I'm going to create a new composition. I'm using the HDTV 1080 preset and my duration is five seconds. Then once you've created your composition, you need to type in your text. Once you've created your text layer, you just need to align it to the center of the composition. Now you need to create two new solids. One needs to be white and then the second one is the background. So it can be any color that you want to use. I'm going to use this green. Now you need to click on the 3D layer switch on your text layer and on the white solid. And then you need to rotate your white solid on the X axis to approximately minus 80 degrees. And then just move it down on the Z axis until it stops touching your text layer. And then you can just scale it up so that your shadow um, will fit on the solid. What you're going to do now is you need to create a new light. I'm using a spotlight. The color is white and make sure that the cast shadows box is checked. So that added a new light. And what you need to do now is you need to go to the material options of the white solid. Um, the accept lights um, needs to be off, accept shadows needs to be on. And then go to the material options of your text. Uh, make sure that the cast shadows is on and the um, accept lights. I'm going to turn it off, but you can uh, leave it turned on depending on the look that you're trying to achieve. And now switch to four views and adjust your light. So I'm going to move it up. Then I'm going to move this down and I'm just going to move it to the right. And that looks good. So when you're done with this, you need to switch back to one view, then click on toggle switches modes and uh, change the mode of this white solid to multiply. And if your shadow is too dark, then you can just decrease the opacity of this white solid until you are happy with the way that this looks. And if you want to make more adjustments to this scene, then you just need to create a new camera, use the default settings, and now you can use the camera tool to adjust the way that this looks. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something new. If you want to see more tutorials, then please check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.